fellow fabricators. Here it is. If you've been following me for a while, I've been talking about this build. Um, so I'm going to bust it out. We're going to dust it off. And I'm going to kind of show you what uh, I've got in store for this thing. Um, show you a little bit about turbo stuff. We're going to do some suspension stuff. I'm going to show you a little bit about the cage. Um, basically to show you what you have to look forward to in the next couple videos. So um, I know I've been talking about it for a while, especially for those that follow me a little bit. Uh, you know, I've mentioned it a couple times, and so we're going to break it out. And I'm going I'm to kind of lay it out and show you what's going on. Hope you enjoy all right guys i want to kind of make this uh video short and sweet so i'm not going to try i'm not going to spend too much time on this i kind of wanted to show you what we got in store um this is uh one of my little hot rods i've been working on for years just now busting it out getting it dusted off um i'm really excited about this thing i just had other projects in the meantime and hadn't really got a chance to work on this one but um basically what we're looking at is a twin turbo setup uh just in stainless shorty headers uh, all v-band stuff um each turbo is going to sit on each side here i don't know if you can see that so you got a turbo on each side uh very symmetrical um this side i've already kind of did some sheet metal and kind of frenched in the uh, wastegate and whatnot um gonna do the same thing over here and i'll kind of walk you through that uh, as we do it um so you got the turbo here facing forward the exhaust goes out the back going to turn down and go right under the K member um, off the headers it just goes down wraps around goes under the frame rail comes back up the other side and it, and it does the same thing on both sides uh, once the engine and, and turbos are in here it's pretty uh, everything's pretty hidden um, not a lot of tubing that's kind of what I like I like the simple look um, the induction as of right now basically um they're just gonna it's just gonna fire off on this side it's just gonna fire off go down cross over into a y on the other side and you can see where the other one actually connects to that turbo uh it comes out the front wraps around through the intercooler uh, over to this side um got some induction tubing that's hidden in the fender well uh sticking to the theme of simple and, and clean and uh, not a lot of tubing and, and whatnot under the hood. Down the fender well, got to blow off, and then it, at that point it goes right into the um, the, uh, the the cab of the car, uh, so it's no longer in the hood. The main reason I had it do that was because sticking to my theme of minimal minimalism, um, the induction is going to come right out of the firewall right there. And I didn't want any throttle body or uh, wires or cables. And actually this cable that you see here will be gone. Um, and it'll just plug right in the back of the intake and be really simple and clean. And I'll actually show you the intake here in just a second. Uh, if you go on the inside, that's where the actual throttle body is going to be housed. And so you can see the tubing come through the firewall there. Um, bounces right over and there's the actual throttle body there and it'll just be uh, uh, instead of cable it'll be more of a, a mechanical linkage uh, setup and then it just turns right off that goes right into the firewall v-band connection right into the intake all right and I'll show you the intake here in just a second but uh, that's pretty much the turbo setup uh, twin 70s um, engines gonna be a uh, 400 cubic inch uh, dart block and everything so it'll be a nice little piece um, I'm going to show you the uh, custom cage that I put in this thing. Um, had some help from uh, my buddies over at Chassis Pro, uh, Scott Black and them. They did they did a phenomenal job. Um, basically, what I did is it's going to be a hot rod. Uh, kind of didn't know what I was going to do as far as track use, so I wanted it to be right. I didn't want to have to take the car back apart to to add any bars and such later on. So we went. Uh, down the road of a 25.5 spec on this thing, but we didn't put all the bars in. Um, so the stuff that would have been in my way as far as using it for street use, I left off. And then that way, worst case, down the road, I go in there and add those couple little bars. Um, but we've got the floor bar here. Got the X bars in the door. Got the kicker bar for the um, funny car cage portion. Um, if this were to, to try to get certified uh, 25.5, that bar would have to be added. 
Um, got the stuff behind the driver's seat. Uh, got some Kirkies in here now. I think that I'll leave them. I, I like the Kirkies. They actually feel pretty good. Um, in the floor, like I said, trying to keep it minimalistic. Um, we recessed the, uh, the lower bars into the floor. So basically half of it's on top of the floor pan and half of it's on the bottom. Um, and once we're done, we'll seal all that up in lizard skin or whatever we got to do in here. Um, and you won't even know that those floor bars are in there. All right, let's see what else I got. Let me show you the trunk portion back here. So in the back, same same deal. You can kind of see those bars a little bit better. Uh, 25.5 uh, setup basically comes back here. We did put um, the uh, parachute mount portion in there. You can see it up the back here. Um, like I said, didn't really know what I was going to do as far as the drag setups, um, but I, I wanted to have all this stuff in here, and if we end up doing some drag week or power tour stuff, may end up making a custom trailer hitch where you, you know, where the parachute mount would go, be a little custom trailer hitch uh, for you know, a custom trailer. So that's going to be another cool feature, and I'll kind of run through all this stuff in more detail uh, in some of the other videos. Uh, one of the cool things that we did on this car was I didn't want the traditional mini tub, so I didn't want these big fake tubs in here. Um, but I did want to open it up to run a wider tire and even set those tires in. So came in, uh, we split the factory uh, tubs and moved it over about an inch and a half. Um, did the same thing with the, um, the shock towers um, on both sides. All that stuff's got to kind of be cleaned up still. You can kind of see it from under here also, so there's the uh, strip of sheet metal. Still needs to be cleaned up. It's just tacked in at this point. Um, and then we moved the tub over. The springs were still in the way. Still wanted to run an all-factory suspension. So we, we moved the um, upper spring perch over probably an inch and a half also. And then, I don't know if you can see, but the frame has actually been notched right here. Uh, just accommodate that spring sitting in there um, the rest all the all the factory components as far as suspension goes are still in place in the original spots original lengths so we know that changed uh, we just made a lot more room for the tires in here um, so I'll actually go over that too in some of the other videos all right so that's everything for this build um, please subscribe you gotta subscribe to get the uh, updates on this thing. Um, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a trick deal when we get it finished up. So um, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you do that. Uh, definitely check me out on my website, thefabforms.com. Uh, you can hit me up there, private message me or whatever. If you got any questions, uh, you're more than welcome to come participate and kind of post your own builds. We'd love to see everything that's going on. I'm gonna have this one on there, so um, you can kind of keep up to date on this thing too in real time. Um, and then when I have time to make some bids, um, I'll do that also. Uh, so hit us up on fabforms.com. And um, thanks for watching.